What's up guys? I have not made a video in a little while, but I think this is going to be a good one. So anyway, if you guys are fans of football, which I assume you are, if you're watching this video, you probably know who Shannon Sharp is. And um, I was watching his sports talk show that he does, Undisputed, the other day, and it reminded me of something that I think a lot of wide receivers don't know about. And that is, if you aren't the first read for your quarterback, you have to kind of time your routes. We're just kind of period. You time your routes so that when your quarterback gets to you, you're actually open. And what I mean by that is, let's say you're a tight end and you're the third read. You know the play is designed for a, the wide receiver to get the first read and maybe a slot back on the other side to get the second read and you're the third read for your quarterback. Well, what's gonna happen is, if you run your route too fast and you get open too quickly, it's going to give a safety or your DB time to get back on you. So you know that like, for instance, if you're running an out route, you want to get the ball maybe a step to two steps after you make your break. But if you run your route too quickly and your quarterback doesn't get to you fast enough, doesn't go through his reads quick enough, and he gets to you after you're like six steps into your cut, the DB is probably gonna be on you or the safety will see that the DB, that you lost the DB and you're open and the safety might close in on it. So that's why you kinda wanna slow it down. Another benefit to slowing it down if you're one of the later reads, like the second, third read, is when you run a slower route, you'll notice, especially corners that aren't as good, will get kinda lazy. They'll see you not going full speed and they'll assume maybe it's a run play or that they just know you're not getting the ball. And it makes it easier to get separation when you do go into your breaks. So that's a couple reasons why you really want to pay attention to the timing of it. And that's gonna help a lot when you go through each play with your quarterback and you get a feel for how quickly he's going to progress through those reads. And um, yeah, just working on that timing. So anyway, I thought that was something a lot of football players might not know about. Maybe your coach didn't teach you that. So hopefully that helped you guys out. If you wanna get more videos like this, more just random tips like that, then subscribe to the channel. I'll keep trying to put them out. If you really wanna get more videos like this, it helps me out when you guys like the video and comment on it. It uh, boosts it up in the algorithm basically so more people see it. The more people see it, the more videos I'll be making. So anyway, thank you guys for your support. I hope you liked the video. Hopefully it brought you some value and I will see you in the next one.